Okay, I know the topic might seem strange, but before we get into this, you need to know a little bit of background. So, as you know, I was uh, I keep track of the Xbox and Activision case. I kind of stopped at this point because every time there's like a little inch forward, it feels like there's another inch the other direction. So basically, what if you don't know, you've been living under a rock, a hut maybe, or living in some kind of car, understandable, stay on that Sigma male grind. But something about this case is super interesting. Obviously, we all know Sony wants to block it. Sony is the direct competitor with Xbox. That makes sense. But then there's this there's this little guy that's like over here and he's like, you, it's sort of like this, okay? So the deal kind of goes a little bit like this. Xbox, we approve of this deal. Blizzard, Activision, and King or whatever it's called. I approve of this deal. The EU, they step in here and they're like, yo, we're pretty cool with this idea. You know, we're down with it. Maybe they, this can help us in the market overall. We approve of this deal, and the UK even is approving of this deal with a few caveats, right? And then, over here, you have this this annoying little guy called called the FTC, and he's just screaming over there. He's like, mm, there's no competition. We'll get to that later. But first, this annoying guy over here, I think we should talk about him a little bit. Because this guy has been everywhere, and he's been around for a long ass time, and he's still weird. Imagine. He's probably got waifu pillows and shit. That's... That, <sighs> so it's worth looking into. And what I found was staggeringly interesting. I ended up going down a whole rabbit hole of information that I just want to tell you guys today. So, uh, why not? So how did the FTC start? The FTC actually goes back for a long time long time. We're talking 1884, um, to be exact. Back in the 1880s, oh god, I feel so old saying that. That was like multiple people ago, but you get what I mean. It was a hard time when it came to companies. Companies, uh, kind of owned everything. They had a monopoly. They were basically playing the real life version of Monopoly in real life, except there was only a few of them and they ended up winning because they took control of sugar, the railroads, pretty much everything, there was a high monopoly of it. And because of this, the FTC was brought in. Now, Theodore Roosevelt came up here and, and twigged his mustache and twirled it and went, no, 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 we aren't going to do that today. So he um, created the FTC to break up monopolies that were a huge problem because monopolies were huge back in the 1880s. In fact, having political cartoons even drawn about them. So introducing the FTC seems like a good thing. So, so, just for clarification, so what does the FTC do? This is the official definition, or from them themselves. So, the FTC enforces federal consumer protection laws that prevent fraud, deception, and unfair business practice. The commission also enforces federal antitrust laws that prohibit anti-competitive measures, me measures, measures, <laughs> and other business practices that could lead to higher prices, fewer choices, and less innovation. So basically, the FTC is coming in here trying to make capitalism better for the rest of us, right? Capitalism, as we all know, has its flaws, so the FTC is trying its best to protect the little person when it comes to big giant monopolies, them in particular, but this can also be extended to competitiveness in general. Sorry, I had a stroke there. So now we come back to the original idea, the FTC and the Xbox case. Obviously, like I've mentioned, everybody has pretty much agreed to the deal, maybe with some few added caveats. The FTC is not liking, at least from this moment, is not liking the Xbox case because they see it as a giant monopoly. And as we all know, the FTC hates monopolies. They, they got a hard on for it. That's kind of the whole reason they were created. So of course they're trying to stop this. The problem is, is that I don't really think that this is much of a monopoly. Okay, okay, uh, cards on the table here. I am a bit of an Xbox fanboy. Um, I've got Game Pass. I've got the new Series S. I, I'm generally an Xbox kind of guy. I, I really do love Game Pass, and I think it's a pro-consumer move. But on the other hand, PlayStation has just dominated the console network, like to an absurd degree. Like they even showed a, a little pie graph, right? And it, it had like less than one fourth of the actual console market. 
the rest was completely owned by PlayStation, and I guess Nintendo wasn't included, but if that was, it would probably be still more than Xbox, right? But the FTC now wants to request certain documents from PlayStation, and because of that, that might get tricky because if PlayStation do turn in their documents, they all find out, hey, uh, the PlayStation has kind of been in dominance for years now. So obviously, I think that this deal will go through eventually, but the FTC certainly will uh, will certainly try and make all kinds of excuses for it. Ooh, thank you, phone. So, like I was saying, the FTC will eventually let this case go through, at least in my opinion, especially after doing all the investigation. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, after all that, um, you probably are a bit exhausted, a bit weary, you know? That's a little bit too much for you. That's okay, you can leave right now. But uh, the FTC goes a lot deeper. Like, a lot deeper. Do you want to see how deep this rabbit hole goes? This is not the only case of the FTC stepping in. ICE is trying to buy Black Knight. Now, apparently this is a whole technological garbage thing. I mean, I, I consider myself an intellectual, but not that intellectual, okay? I'm not going to look too deep into this since I'm not a tech software guy and I don't have a YouTube channel about that. So I, I doubt that you care that much either. But basically, it's a company trying to buy another company when it comes to digital space, all right? And that's just the beginning. Then we have some of the more problematic things. You see, the FTC has been under the little news light for a while now, and that's basically because of Ted Cruz. We'll get to uh, Ted Cruz of semantics and other stuff, but first let's go after the first thing that he brought up, and that would be the zombie voters. If you don't know anything about the zombie voters, that's completely fair. Not a lot of people do, and I didn't know myself. But it turns out, it's basically when the commissioner, or the com commissioner? Commissioner, yeah. Like Commissioner Gordon, yeah. Can vote going out. So that means right before they actually leave, or in some cases after, they can just vote on whatever they want. Now, I don't need to tell you this, but uh, it's kind of fuckery. Like, the fuck? Why are you allowed to do this? No other company or government entity just like votes after the fact. Because what happens is, is that a lot of people when they're stepping down, either right before they step down or after they step down, they just vote on a ton of shit. And then it completely shifted the vote because some of the new people will make decisions as well. So then they can just override the vote. This is crazy. Why would, why would any government entity do this? It's not fair. Why, why is this even a thing in the first place? Imagine if you're stuck between a tiebreaker, but you know somebody else is coming in, and because of that, you then vote at the last second and then just take over any, like, winning case. Or a case that goes into the most amount of favor, breaking that tie. But that's only because of the some of the people that coordinate that. So, obviously, Ted Cruz brought this up, and Ted Cruz is kind of known and actually politicians in general are kind of known for this let's own the people that i'm gonna talk to today and that way it goes viral on youtube or twitch or twitter or any other god-awful site right so in particular ted cruz didn't just grill the lady which you can probably find somewhere else it doesn't really matter to what we're talking about he, he grilled her on the zombie votes but uh you can get it. So Ted Cruz decided to bring in the new CEO of the FTC. That's right, the new FTC guy. What was it? What's he got to say? You know? Well, apparently Ted Cruz kind of kind of playing this a little bit. He he did a little a little sneak a little sneaky thing, right? Where he planned him to talk with him on a public platform and then proceed to just fucking ass blast this guy. Ted Cruz then realized he can use this as a chance to just lay it on him because ted cruz came in here with like twitter pictures and like um shit that he said in the past and then he like co cobbles it all together and then he's like hmm very interesting you say such and such thing that i disagree with by any chance do you stand by these uh, remarks and then he'll kind of go oh well yeah i do but like I've kind of got a corporate thing and I work with multiple people at the same time and then he goes hmm interesting you disagree with a thing that I agree with that's crazy um that's crazy and then he kind of turns to the camera does a little finger bang and then kind of leaves right that's basically the whole thing of how it went down he was like ah you don't like ice well I like ice but the thing is is that 
he, he can't do anything about it. Even if the FTC really hates ICE, right? Not the same ICE company that we were talking about earlier. ICE, the government controlled illegalizing, you know, cages, you know, all that other shit, right? That kind of ICE. So even if the new CEO didn't like any of those guys, hated it, you know, wanted them all on a stick, um, anarchy baby, whatever, right? No borders. Who? It doesn't matter because the guy isn't in charge of government entities. The guy is in charge of trying to stop public mergers and stuff that is anti-consumer and anti-competition. So why would this matter? Even if Ted Cruz brought this up, this really doesn't make a difference. So even though Ted Cruz is trying to own the libs, get them libtards, I got you now by the breast, right? It doesn't really matter because in his in his shoes in his scenario it doesn't really make a difference however there are some few things that we can definitely criticize the ftc for and that is by far not reporting to the government multiple times the ftc has gone kind of around the government to make certain decisions that is not approved by them especially ones that tend to be a bit controversial left and right now the ftc um is also kind of at war with twitter um the FTC, for some reason, kind of wanted to dig around into the, what Elon's transactions are doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I dislike Elon Musk just as much as the next guy. I think he's egotistical. He doesn't really add much, but my opinion on him really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the FTC is trying to step in and get internal documents that show what is going on. And because Elon Musk is such a proud figure of the right, as soon as the FTC steps in, they're like, ah, oh, this is leftist propaganda. And that in and of itself creates a whole new discourse. Now it's like, is the FTC left-leaning? We can't allow the FTC to do this. But in reality, the FTC is looking into pretty much all of the social media giants. And if there were to be a merge, I do hope that they do it better. Like the FTC should break up some of these bigger companies, but I don't think that that's a matter of left or right. I think the FTC, like it or not, has kind of been getting money. I Okay, let me just put this out there. I, I don't know this for a fact, I don't have any evidence for it, but I would probably guess just like any government entity, they probably have some cahoots with certain social media websites that lets them stay at the top for money, for power, whatever, and I think that's why the FTC hasn't gotten hard on the social media stuff, except maybe on Twitter, because they may find something in there. Now, does that mean the FTC is woke or left-leaning? Possibly, but even then, let's think about this, right? The FTC being left-leaning and the FTC being right-leaning, I would go with the left-leaning version. That's not because I lean left, but because the left is, tends to be more critical of capitalism. Like the whole idea of the right is basically, ah, let the free markets and whatever control whatever. But the FTC is literally the opposite of that. That's the, that's the opposite of the conservative idea of economics. And then we get the new thing, oh, the new hot thing. Oh, you're gonna love it, guys. It's a, it's a new content update from our favorite video game, the FTC. This comes down to the workforce. They want to ban non-compliancy clause. Now, for those of you that don't know, basically what this is is that it stops people from going over to the competitor's um, employee. Like, for instance, if Xbox and Sony were, like, working on their own things and then PlayStation starts winning, right, and a lot of the lead people from PlayStation go to Xbox, this law would not um, let you do that. But instead, they want to ban that idea. So if they want to transfer to the other competitor, they could. Which I think is a good idea on paper, but when it comes to execution, I think it's kind of a bad idea because then you just have people flip-flopping left and right. And if they can flip-flop, then that also means that they can then kind of manipulate what they want so maybe they manipulate or make a decision for the bad side and then just flip over to the other competitors or they try and bulk make bad decisions or good decisions and then predict that and then work for the other competitor so on and so forth so i think this like i said is a good idea on paper just not executed well so after all that what have we learned about the ftc are they cringe or are they based i think they started off pretty based they're trying to stop corporate companies. But overall, it seems like they've been influenced, you know, left or right leaning just in general. And it seems like the FTC are going pretty hard in on this stuff. But, uh, man, I don't know. If you want an opinion on it, go, go ask the senator. I'm not here for this stuff. I just figured out all this stuff and I was like, okay, 
I didn't know that they had this much control over the market. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nuts, pretty wild. If again, if you want to know my opinion, I think they started off based, but kind of went down over the years. Not because they're left leaning or they're woke. It's not because of that. It's mostly because of other factors that get involved. I would like them to do more stuff relating to social media, not because they're left leaning or whatever, but because the social media giants have a lot of influence and power, but we'll just have to see how it goes. But generally, I lean more towards based. I think that uh, the FDC has a lot of good things um, that can help the economy. So whatever, man, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to lay down. See ya. Oh, that was too much for me.